Hi guys, so if you remember this cow from another video I had, I was able to talk the farmer in to let me see her again to see how well that block was doing with that white line lesion. And you can tell the block was nearly falling off all the way and she's not quite healed up all the way. So right now I want to put another block on there. She would probably be fine without another block, but the last thing I want to do is take the risk of her getting lame again and then we're starting all over from ground zero. Right now I'm just roughing up this lateral claw so that the block has a nice dry surface that it can stick to. The problem she had is mostly healed up and I think I saw her three weeks ago so that's not too bad for three weeks time. Sure. The dark spot in the middle that I'm picking at is healed horn that still just needs a little time to grow back. I'm just lightly scraping over it to make sure there's no further damage even though it's all healed up, it's still important that I remove all the loose horn so that there's no open pockets for any moisture to get into. Scraping around on this healthy horn does not hurt the cow at all. Since it still is freshly healed, it is important to have that block on there because it is still soft. And then again, that'll take a lot of the weight and pressure off the lame claw there. You can notice that darker spot up top there that I'm not touching. I'm just kind of scraping around it. That's originally where the white line lesion was. So I want to be really careful and gentle when I scrape around that area. Right now I don't want any horn to grow around that lesion until it's fully healed. Otherwise it could grow over the lesion and still cause a further problem. She is a little sensitive on it yet, so I'm still being gentle with it. And I think that's all I'm going to do for now. There's no need to wash the whole foot off. Um, right now I'm just going to put antibacterial solution all over it. That'll kill any germs around there. And then she gets wrapped with iodine mixed with a little salicylic acid, which will help with the pain. This wrap will stay on one to two days until the farmer takes it off. And that block can stay on as long as she needs it. Usually they wear down or fall off once it's healed up. Even though I had to re-block it and re-wrap it, it was still great progress in just three weeks time compared to what it looked like. Now that she's done, she's good to be let out and she can go lay down, go eat, do whatever she wants and hopefully that heals up good. If you like this content, please swipe left and hit follow and keep up to date with my new content. Thank you all for the follows and the likes.